morning. Welcome to the world of colors. I'm Colors. Today we're going to do a Dollar Tree plaque hack for the 4th of July. A piece for your front door that looks like this. It's pretty easy to make. Just follow along and it's, you're done in no time. I'll be right back with you to tell you what you'll need to make it. What we're going to need today are these two plaques. These tall plaques from Dollar Tree and these two wood shapes from Dollar Tree. One I have painted out already and the other one we're not going to paint out. So we need two of them like this. I'll tell you about what paint I used. We're going to need one of these bows from the Dollar Tree and two pieces of white fur for the beards that are four and a half inches long by six inches wide. And then we're gonna need two uh, wood knobs that are one and a half inches wide. And two styrofoam scatter stars, white and blue. I'm using, it doesn't really matter what color you use. And you can get these at Dollar Tree, or I saw them yesterday at the at-home store as well. So pretty much a lot of the stores carry these scatter stars. And then I made up two little bows with some red cording that I had. And we'll be using those. And then for the paint, I used Island Breeze by Tester's Craft Paints. rust only makes this for this shape here for the base. And then I used Twinkles by Deco Art for the noses. And then I used uh, Tester's white matte finish in uh, made by Rust-Oleum for another part of the uh, project. So I'll be right back with you and we'll get started. First thing we wanna do is take our two plaques and we're gonna take off the mustache and the firework and the flag. We're gonna take off those pieces. What you wanna do is take your blow dryer and heat them up for a few couple minutes. Just heat them up and then they'll come right off, especially the mustache, it's not very thick and it's just like a foam type material. So they'll come right off and then just heat up your the other pieces and take them off pop them right off so i'll be doing that and i'll be right back with i've you. got these pieces taken off i heated them up and and i took this tool here that i have and uh just went underneath them and scraped them off kind of that they come off they, they'll rip the paper a little bit but that's where we're going to put the beard so we're not worried about that and then on the mustaches, they have the little peach circle in the middle for the nose. We're gonna paint that out with white acrylic paint and just get rid of the peach circle. And then I'm gonna blow dry it and I'll be right back with I've you. I've got the mustache all dry here. And what we wanna do is take our pieces, our, our uh, plaque that we have the pieces taken off and then we, we want to take our beard, our four and a half inch long by six inch wide beard, and just, we're going to glue that right on top of here. So we want to put some glue right across here there, where we're going to put the top of it. And then we want it to be glued secure all the way down like that. So just put that right at the top, like that. Got that on there. And then what we wanna do is to take the mustache and we'll put that right at the top so you can't see this edge. Right like that. But you don't wanna cover up the letters Oops. 
put it just like that. And then I'll glue the sides just at the edge there. And then we'll glue on the nose. And put the flag back on. See, it wouldn't be secure if you hadn't glued the beard all the way on to glue the flag on. It would be flopping. So you, you want to make sure you glue the beard on all the way. And then you put the flag back on. I get it right here. You just want to kind of pull the the beard down like this so that you can see the shoes still. You see these little points sticking out here from the beard, little points sticking out, and you just Trim those right off. That one's good. And then you take your hairspray and spray it a little bit. Your firm holding hairspray. We want the beard to stay like this so we can see the shoes. And I've already got the other one finished. We'll put the little bow at the top here to cover up the hole. And then we'll get out our Twinkles craft paint by Deco Art. And the only thing I'm going to do to the nose is to put a little bit of this Twinkle paint on them. And I'll do the other one and I'll be right back with The next thing we need to do is to glue these two pieces onto the shape like this that I got at Dollar Tree. And I painted it with the Island Breeze Tester's Craft Paint. So what we want to do is position these just like that. A little bit above the hole up there. And you'll see the side coming out. Let me show you on this one here how they're positioned on there. We're going to do it just like that. The mustaches cross each other a little bit. And then I'm going to glue them on. You could use some E6000 for this, but being as it takes a little bit longer to set up, I'm going to use the hot glue. But if I wasn't doing a video right now, I would use E6000 for this. So you just want to put that on there a little bit higher than the, the hole here and hold that down. You'll see a little bit of this sticking out and I'll be right back with you. The next thing we're going to do is to glue the natural colored wood shape to the top. And I left this natural to play off the nose and the hands so it all goes together well. So we'll put this on here like this. We're going to put a bow up here. So we'll glue it on like that. You can see how that's going to go on. And again, I would use E6000 for this if I wasn't making a video right now. The E6000 glue you can get at Walmart. And it's pretty reasonably, reasonably priced. So I put that on like that. And I'll be right back with you. 
So this is glued on now, and the next thing we want to do is the bow. So you want to take your bow and just cut off the tails. I'm making sure I don't get the staple here. Take the whole bowl apart. So I'm going to cut the tails off like that. And we're going to glue the tails on up here, angled down like that. And then we just want to take this part and trim up a little bit best I can here without getting the staple. <clears throat> Get that glued on. And then I put a little star right here at the top. And there you have your door hanger. Very easy to make. And it looks really nice on the door. So we thank you for coming and joining us today. If you like this video, make sure to like. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe.